I think I started this back in 2007, living in San Francisco. A friend of mine had a great loft in the city and he was a painter, I was a photographer learning video, and we wanted to create a space, so we created this place called 210 Studios. And what we wanted to do was feature artists that were underrepresented in the galleries space in San Francisco. So we built 210 Studios and 210 Clara Street is an alleyway in San Francisco and monthly we would have different artists come and we would do underground shows and throw like little mini parties with different artists. And it was great because I really believe that there's a lot of artists that are very underrepresented. They're very, very talented. At the time we had the first 80 foot single canvas ever done in the world by three different spray artists. And it just reminded me like as artists, it can be lonely. It's super hyper creative, but we need community to support us. And we need people with some business savvy and some sense that are gonna help support us with our journey to selling our art. Um, over the years, you know, getting my MBA and, you know, transitioning from a freelance photographer, videographer, and then getting my MBA in marketing and strategy, you know, I really want to be a holistic force for people. And that involves for me collaborating with other artists, collaborating with creators, because we actually produce a better product, I believe when we have more diversity and more collaboration. We can also refer projects that we're not experts at. Some people are painters, some people are graphic designers, some people are motion graphics, some people are photographers, videographers. We can refer work, collaborate more, which is more interesting, and just you know produce a better result while we support each other. And to be honest, it's not lonely because a lot of the time you're working alone or you're working in a small team and it's just not super community-based. So I started Grip Media Studios back in Oakland, and that was a lot to support um, creating collaborative spaces for media creators, photo, video, and audio. Um, a lot of that was in co-working spaces and office spaces that were underutilized, and we would build micro studios, you know, green screens, lights, tripods, backdrops, and just support people to drop in, you know, plug and play, create media. Again, photo, audio, video. So when COVID happened, I was in a really unique place to support that community. A colleague here in Santa Cruz, Andrew Devlin, I had known through the video world and he had a company called Pitch Hub. And he, you know, he said to me, hey, I would love for you to join my team. And so I said, you know what? I have my own business, but I'd love to join at a more partnership level. And what I ended up doing was getting involved with a lot of sweat equity in the company, getting very involved with seeing the company grow running the production and some of the marketing and you know put a lot of effort into that over the last two years during covid working with hundreds of people building you know over a dozen studios in the bay area you know minimal studios that had again photo backdrops lights cameras mics and then leveraging it all on smartphones we moved away from the dslr phones because the smartphones got so much better so much quicker that that's what people had in their pocket the cameras are now shooting 4K as we're shooting on today, and the resolution's there, and the quality's there. So again, it's about collaborating, making it easy for people to create media, making it easy for people to be more productive and efficient with media creation and collaboration, whether it's scripting, post-production, pre-production, wherever in the process they need support, or with photographers or other you know, creative artists. That brings us to this space. Now, so for the last year or so, we've been trying to do that on a space in River Street. We were trying and trying, we just couldn't quite get it to work with the team that we had there. In this space here in Capitola, I think we can really make something happen. I think we can feature the artists, like you see behind me, you know, apparel creators, authors, speakers, coaches, consultants, uh, product companies, companies that I've worked with personally through Brickhouse Media and supported over the years, seeing them grow, we wanna have a showcase for them here. And to be honest, we also wanna have events. So we also wanna feature artists here. We also wanna do screenings. We have a you know beautiful projector and screen here to do small intimate gatherings and screenings. So there's a lot of potential here to see that vision evolve all the way back from 2007 to 10 years. Next year will be my 10th year running Breakhouse Media. And you know being able to feature you know, clients and companies and startups that I've worked with over that time period here at the location, it just really makes me humbled and proud to be able to do that. So that's what this location's about. 
it's, uh, it's a work in progress. We always want it to be a work in progress. We don't ever wanna just be done because we wanna be pushing the envelope a little bit about what's possible in this amazing location. So invite you to come check it out, reach out to us uh, on social media. We're building a, you know, a light website just for communication and uh, let us know how we can support you here in Capitola, Santa Cruz and anywhere in the Bay Area. Thanks.